Hello, this is Jake of the Forge Hub Video Crew, and today I have something awesome for you. Today we have a tutorial on simple sliding doors and bridges. So to start things off, we have a sliding door that can toggle back and forth. So I can show it in action here real quick. Opens, closes, then you can do it real quick and it actually does it halfway through. Yeah. So the scripting for this is you need a switch whatever type of switch doesn't matter then you go into object properties and go to condition on your add a script and make sure it's script one first then the condition needs to be on interaction your action needs to be power set and then your channel in this case is alpha and then the state needs to be toggled then over here on your piece that you want moved you want to have a script for here and this script needs to be on power state, channel alpha, and then the state is on. And then in this state, you want it to move however far it will take to get clear it out of the way of your door. So in this case, I have it like nine horizontal units. Um, you can also have two objects and give them two separate coordinates and give them the same script, just different coordinates to go to. So if you wanted like two pieces to move out for a door, then you want to have a second script here with on power state, channel alpha, state off, and then you have a position reset. So it will go back to where it is when you press the button again, so and so forth. Make sure it has a reasonable amount of time so the door doesn't look weird, you know. Um, so this also works this toggle with like bridges and stuff so we do that and it works exactly the same way with the bridge as it does here it's just different coordinates different position of the pieces and then over here is a door that will either only open or only close in this case this one only opens so say you had kind of like a high ground style map where you have a door that you want to be a secondary objective that opens so this would work just like that you press the button and the door moves so how to script this is you go into the object properties you go to the for add a script so your first script then the condition needs to be on interaction the action needs to be power set uh, if you have multiple switches you're going to have to change your channel so in this case mine is bravo and the state needs to be toggle then over here you know, actually you probably could just do state on but it doesn't matter really be able to, all right so on your object you need to add a script and so in this script needs to be on power state channel bravo state on and then move offset and it needs to move wherever you want it to move so if the door is being opened you want the door to start off in a position here and then move x amount of units this way or whatever or if you want it to close then you over here you have the object and you may move it to the left using your coordinates so that is what i have for you today this has been jake of the forge hub video crew and i'll see you guys next time laters